بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم الحمد لله رب العالمين والصلاه والسلام على اشرف الانبياء والمرسلين محمد رسول الله صلى الله عليه وعلى اله وصحبه وسلم تسليما كثيرا كثيرا اما بعد ما بعد سيستاز اور رب جل جلاله his names and attributes the greatest of them are ar-rahman ar-rahim with which he introduced himself two times in surah al-fatiha which begins with bismillah ar-rahman ar-rahim alhamdulillah rabbil alamin ar-rahman ar-rahim we begin in the name of allah subhanahu wa ta'ala who is ar-rahman ar-rahim the most beneficent the most merciful alhamdulillah rabbil alamin all praise and thanks to allah subhanahu wa ta'ala who is the creator maintainer protector sustainer of the of the entire universe all that we know and all that we don't know ar rahman ar rahim once again the most beneficent the most merciful ar rahman is the sifat of rahma it is the quality of mercy at its peak like al jawan al atshan al ghadban al farhan the hungriest the thirstiest the angriest the happiest peak of peak of that thing so ar rahman is the peak of mercy the superlative form of mercy and rahim is on the same wazan as jamil kareem and so on which is that which continues which will not change so the quality of ar rahman ar rahim is the peak of mercy which never changes because the quality of any peak is that after the peak there is a decline and the peak can be sustained only as long as those specific conditions which relate to the peak are fulfilled as soon as those conditions change even by a little bit it is no longer the peak a person can be happy at the peak but you know and i know that that peak of happiness never remains and not because some sadness hits you not because a tragedy hits you but it's just that you get used to that and that's the reason the, the big reason for continuously thanking allah subhanahu wa ta'ala continuously remembering allah subhanahu wa ta'ala continuously thinking of allah subhanahu wa ta'ala continuously being grateful to allah subhanahu wa ta'ala for what he has given us to give you an idea those of you who buy a new car when you first sit in that car when you drive it off the lot of the dealer it has that smell the new car smell probably there are, the seat covers still have polythene plastic covers on them some people keep those covers on for a long time they don't even remove the covers they sit on top of the plastic right that feeling oh my god i got a fantastic got a great beautiful car a new car and then you drive home and you show your friends and your family and what not you go for a drive and everything else come back home and you park the car and the next morning you come there and you get back into the car the feeling is not the same the feeling is not the same the peak of that happiness you had when you first got into that car on the uh, dealer's lot and the feeling that you are now and that you now have when you sit in the car on day 2 just the second day there is a difference so also somebody is so ravenously hungry as and eaten for 3 days or 4 days is completely is feels like there is a vast emptiness inside him his stomach feels like there is a hole in his body one piece of bread one slice of pizza one ice cream cone one banana and that peak comes down even half a banana will do it peak comes down same thing with the same everything you take it every human emotion at its peak for that peak to decline it doesn't take calamities even if nothing happens you just get used to that now with allah subhanahu wa taala his mercy his rahma never declines rahim never declines so it is the peak of mercy which continues forever 
And we know from the hadith of Rasulullah he said that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala loves you more than your mother loves you. In another place he said the mercy of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala Allah divided it into 100 parts and one part he sent onto the earth by which the mother has mercy on her child. Even the mother animal has mercy on her child. One piece. And 99 parts of that mercy Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has retained with him which he will use on the day of judgment to forgive people. We ask Allah to be among them. Mercy is the quality of our Rabb Jalla Jalalhu. And mercy is the quality of his messenger Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam about whom Allah said, وَمَا أَرْسَلْنَاكَ إِلَّا رَحْمَةً لِلْعَلَمِينَ There are two nafis. وَمَا أَرْسَلْنَاكَ We have not sent you. Illa except Rahmatan lil alameen as a mercy, not Rahmatan lil muslimin, Rahmatan lil nas, Rahmat Rahma ala uh, ala al ard. No, not as a mercy to to Muslims, not as a mercy to people, not as a mercy on earth. Rahmatan lil alameen, Rahmatan lil alameen to to all the worlds. Whatever that means, Allah knows best. And Allah is stating it in a way where grammatically this is being reinforced and emphasized twice. We have not sent you except for this. Right? Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala would have said, I have sent you as a mercy. Which conveys this. I mean, the meaning wise is the same, but the, the emphasis of the meaning, the emphasis of the meaning is much more when it is put in this way. It is like the kalima, for example, La ilaha illallah. Allah, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala could have said, Allahu ilahu wahid. Allah is the only one worthy of worship. But when you say, when you bring it from the negative, uh, the, the, the negating first, there is no one worthy of worship except Allah. Illallah. So, the quality of mercy is the essence of Islam. And that's why Rasulullah said, anything in which there is mercy, in which there is kindness, because kindness is an aspect of mercy, it beautifies that thing. The thing in which there is kindness is beautified because of the kindness. And he said, if kindness is taken away from something, then it detracts. Huh? The meaning of the hadith. Kindness. If you take Mercy has many, many aspects. Kindness is one. Forgiveness is another one. To forgive somebody who has wronged you. This is the finest uh, quality of mercy and it's the highest level of mercy and this is what we request and we beg Allah for. We don't say forgive me because I, I deserve to be forgiven. No, we say forgive me because you're merciful. I do not deserve to be forgiven but because you are merciful, forgive me. Forgive me so that your mercy will come into play. And that's what I remind myself in you. The number one quality to try and develop in, our, develop in ourselves is mercy. There are some wonderful uh, stories in our, uh, in the history of Islam, in among the uh, the, first and foremost among, in, in the life of Rasulullah himself. We know these stories, but think of them in that context of mercy. Take the famous story, which I'm sure everybody knows, of this woman who used to throw garbage in the path of Rasulullah Wasallam. When he would pa wa pass by her house, she would come out on the balcony and she would throw garbage in his path. Rasulullah never reprimanded her, never said anything, never got angry. Or at least if he got angry, he didn't show this anger. See, getting angry is a normal thing. It shows that you are human. The issue is how to express that, to express it or not. And if you have to express it, then how do you express it? There are many hadiths also relating to Rasulullah expressing his anger. But all of that is very positive in a way which is not harmful to anybody. So in this case, he didn't he didn't expect uh, express his anger, and he would go past. And then one day, when he came past that house, 
the routine didn't happen this woman didn't throw the garbage so rasul sallam sallallahu alaihi wasallam sallam stopped turned back went back to the house knocked on the door and somebody opened the door he said there is this lady who used to you know where is she he said she says they say who are you talking about he said this lady used to throw garbage in my path every time i passed by here she used to throw garbage so the people were very ashamed they said no i'm so sorry but you know she did this so no what happened to her today is she is she okay no she is not okay she is very sick and i was also some said can i see her and he said please come they took her they took him he sat with her he prayed for her and the woman's heart changed kindness takes the wind out of the sails of your enemies so also rasul sallallahu alaihi wasallam goes to taif and we know the whole story of taif what happened in taif how he was treated how he was uh, you know later on uh, all, all that they did to him but when all of this was finished and when allah subhanahu wa ta'ala gave in the power gave rasul sallallahu alaihi wasallam the power to retaliate to take revenge on those people who had treated him so badly and so evilly and so and in 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 a, with no justification right when allah gave him the oppor- the power and the authority and he sent the angels of the mountains to say put him under the command of rasul sallallahu alaihi wasallam and he said you know the angel said allah has commanded me that i must obey you tell me what to do i will do it and rasul sallallahu alaihi wasallam said to him what can you do he said i can destroy this entire taif if i can join the two mount taif is a valley i will join the two mountains together and there is no valley every living thing in taif will be finished rasul sallallahu alaihi wasallam said my rabb has not sent me to do that and i hope from my rabb that there will be people in taif who will see the light of islam and so it happened this is the most beautiful part of rahma of mercy where not only do you go do good to somebody who is neutral who has not done anything any harm to you not only do you retaliate good with good but you actually retaliate harm with good you retaliate something which was wrong you retali- you retaliate to somebody who has harmed you with good this is the ultimate this is the final most powerful most uh, uh you know uh, most superior form of uh, of mercy and kindness and I ask allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to grant this to us we have the best example in the world the example of rasul muhammad rasulullah sallallahu alaihi wasallam and therefore it is something that we should learn from and emulate and practice and make it the path wa sallallahu alaihi wa sallam wa ala alihi wa sahbihi ajma'in bi rahmatika ya rahman